Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Carwire. So I'm sat in a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Next to me is a Suzuki Hayabusa. And we're gonna have a drag race because that's the way we roll around here on Carwire. In fact, if you wanna make sure you don't miss any of these crazy drag races, ensure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Anyhow, let me tell you about this Lamborghini. It has a 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 with 770 horsepower, 720 newton meters of torque. It drives all four wheels, a seven speed single clutch robotized manual gearbox. Don't know why they call it all that nonsense, it's, it's a paddle shift auto. <clears throat> Anyhow, it has launch control, which is good. What's also good is the weight. So, this car only weighs just over 1.5 tons and it's rather expensive. It's £350,000. It's been lent to me by my mate Mark McCann, and you can check out his channel in the description. Put a link to it, right? He does some crazy stuff with this, like abuses it badly. Anyhow, let's chat to the chap on the bike because he knows about it. So, it's Chris Northover from Bike World. You should check out their channel as well. So, Chris, how are you? All the better for being on the runway with you, Matt. All the better because you think you're going to beat me in a drag grace on that right I, i'm not sure about that i'm hoping i can i've uh, got a bit more of an advantage off the line than i had last time so i'm hoping that if i can get a good start i should be able to stay ahead of that because last time you drag raced me and you were on a what was it a kawasaki supercharged h2s i don't know is that some kind of like train line hs2 or something what, what's it called that bike that you drove drove rode last time so yeah that was a supercharged kawasaki h2r last time just over 300 horsepower in my defense quite a tricky bike to get off the line it sounds like i'm making excuses now you're definitely making excuses so tell me about that bike you've got now so the higher boost is actually a little slower than the h2r on paper it's 195 horsepower and weighs just over 260 kilos but the advantage it has is it's low and long which means it goes off the line really well how much is one of those so the retail price of this bike as it is here is 17,000 pounds well, let's see if 17 gram can beat 350 gram. Definitely in the uh, straight line speed, definitely not in the comfort stakes though. This isn't actually that comfy, the seats are quite firm. Anyhow, if you're thinking about buying a car or maybe a bike uh, and you need to sell your current car, what you need to do is click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below to go to Car Wow. So all you have to do is upload some photos of your car and then our dealers all across the UK will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for you. Just pick the best offer and then they'll come around your house, take your car away and put the money in your account. It's so easy. Now, if you want to do that at a late, date just simply google wow me car wow and we will wow you wonder if chris will wow me with his bike riding skills he's pretty handy and brave buy sell car wow as ever before we race let's do the customary car wow sound check so i'm going to start off by revving up the glorious v12 of this lamborghini <laughs> Chris, make some noise with your bike and its four cylinders. I thought the Lamborghini spun up quick, but that is mental. What's the CC of that? The engine capacity, it's 1340. Well, I guess then this does have a lot more inertia, I suppose, but anyway. It sounds better than the bike, come on, it does. Hopefully it launches better as well. Let's do this. There is nowhere to put this in this car. There's no glove box. Mark, when you're racing this, where do you where do you put your um, radio? Yeah, he's pointing between his legs. Oops. There we go. Come on, for the cars. Three, two, one. Hawk! believe how well he launched that he was like almost level with me how do you do that on a bike motorbike superiority restored Woo. <laughs> how do you launch a bike with one wheel drive as good as a heavy car with four wheel drive and massive fat tires it was so close though for that first 200 yards i really thought i was like come on come on but i i i just i don't that was a wicked launch. Could you do better than that? I might be able to get a bit more, yeah. I don't think I could do better, so I don't want to do it again. <laughs> do you want to do it again? Yeah, definitely. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Three, two, one. That was a better launch. <laughs> I 
don't think I'm going to do better than that. <laughs> was that a very slight jump start there? I had to do something to be in with a fighting chance, but let's just check with the stewards whether I did, in fact, jump. Um, can we get a steward's inquiry? Did the Aventador, i.e. me, jump the start? You did not jump the start. I did not jump the start, Chris! I, what are you moaning about? You still blooming won! Just not by so much as the first time. I'm surprised how much this keeps going. Your launch is so good. Like, keeping that under control is just insane. All I have to do is just release the brake and hold the wheel straight. You have to do... What do you have to do? Of all the bikes, though, this is easiest. But you're always, like, on the back brake, balancing the throttle, the clutch, keeping your weight forward. OK, you're all right. Stop showing off now. I don't need to hear any of that. All right. <laughs> Go away. In other words, it takes a lot of skill to launch that, not to launch this, and I still lost. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Suzuki won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.4 seconds, while the Lamborghini took 10.7 seconds. <laughs> now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, car and bike in third gear. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Oh, it's gone. He's going to smash me to the half mile. <laughs> Victory to the bike. I think the bike's got it this, on this car, for sure. You pulled ahead of me, and then I think if we'd have maybe gone for a mile, I might have reeled you in a bit. I can do over 200 miles an hour in this, apparently. This is capped to 186. So, I've been humiliated in the drag racing and the rolling race. My turn now, matey boy. Never before have I been so excited about doing the brake test. Let's do it. Don't fall off. OK, let's do this. Come on, Lamborghini, we've got this. Now, if you'd rather watch another drag race with the bike, click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below. If not, stay with me, we're going to do this brake test. Here comes the line. <laughs> no! So not only do you not have protection of a steel cage around you, you're not able to stop in such a short distance. That's why bikes are dangerous, everybody. So they are bloody good fun. And if you want to see what kind of fun that Chris gets up to on bikes of all kinds, then you should check out his channel, Bike World. The link is in the description. As ever, if you're thinking about buying a car, check out CarWow. I've actually picked a performance car, which is really good value for money. I've got a great offer on three CarWow. If you want to see what that is, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, let us know in the comments. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there to go to CarWow, where you can sell your car. Just upload some photos. And our dealers from across the UK will bid on your car. And then you just pick the best offer, and they'll come take your car away, put the cash in your account. Simple. Thanks for watching.